Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Twirl, your weekly recap of everything Rocket League related. In this week's episode, we're going to be taking a look at the man behind 100,000 demolitions. We've got the release of Rocket Pass 6. There's some good news for RL custom designs and much more to take a look at. So we're going to be hopping into our new segment, starting off with President Donald Bump. Now, if you don't know who this is, President Donald Bump holds the record for the most amount of demolitions in Rocket League, and he recently hit 100,000. 100,007 demolitions. Donald Bump plays a unique, support-based style of Rocket League, where he's often in the opponent's half stealing boost or going for those crucial demos. The demolitions are taking his opponents out of the game, and it's some psychological warfare, as they oftentimes get tilted. Even if he doesn't get the demo, his opponents still have to pay a lot of attention to where he is, and that can distract them from crucial saves or important goals. Now while his playstyle might seem like a meme, and just for fun, Donald Bump has refined it, made it work for him, and he's even been able to hit the ranks of Grand Champion. But unfortunately, everything hasn't been sunshine and rainbows. Donald Bump receives a fair amount of flack for this playstyle, particularly from his opponents, who find it frustrating to play against. However, I'm hoping he doesn't stop anytime soon, because I think it's fantastic that there's different ways to play the game. You've got the conventional style that we see a lot of, there's all the freestylers, and there's Donald Bump's demo-based style. Last week also saw the release of Rocket Pass 6. While I was impressed by the majority of the items, I do think Psyonix can get a bit more experimental with some of the items. Perhaps something new that we've never seen before, for example painted window screens, or an upgrading battle car that we've never seen before, such as American Muscle. If you're not clued up on all the Rocket Pass 6 items, we do have showcases of all the major ones on the second channel, Rocket League Showcases. This week we also saw some petitions for wheels to be added into the game that are associated with Rocket Pass 6. Now they are in the game files, but unfortunately they do not drop. The first wheel is the unpainted Blade Wave Special Edition wheel, with a very unique rainbow color to it. And then you've also got the petition for the painted versions of the very clean polylight wheels. There was also a small update coming to Rocket League this week. The update included some changes to the vibration system, you've now got presets you can choose from, as well as a slider to change the amount of vibration. The other inclusion in that update were several smaller bug fixes. And the final news story for this week is a happy one, and it's the return of RL Custom Designs. This is a subreddit where you submit a form, a bot makes the design, and shows it off for you in a GIF. When Rocket League upgraded from DirectX 9 to DirectX 11, it also meant that RL Custom Designs had to upgrade. There were some concerns about the coding and whether they'd be able to get everything up and running, but they managed to get it sorted so that's great to see. We're then going to move on and take a look at a few creations for the week. We had some custom painted octanes coming out from Source Duck Luck. My favorite one's definitely this Rainbow Octane. I highly doubt we're going to see something like this in the game, but it's cool to see nonetheless. We then had some manga style Rocket League fan art coming out from Hat. And then we got this very cool smoky Dominus wallpaper from Preflip Gang Requiem. Now it's time for us to move on to our plays of the week. Our first play is from Techno Ninja, goes up high into the air, flip resets off the ceiling, and then does a very weird second flip reset. Next is Supreme Forchetta, using his AFK teammate to save the ball. Our next play is from Ted JH, gets a weak touch on the ball, but bumps his opponent making him score an own goal. We then have our plays from our Discord server. You'll find it linked in the description if you want to submit any of your own plays or fashion designs. Our first play is from Tedric. Tilts his opponent once by demoing him, and as his opponent respawns, he tilts him again with a musty fake. We then have Leandrum who pulls off such a satisfying, powerful flick and cleanly finishes it off. Our next play comes out from Chanti. You can see some great game sense here to make sure there's no demo, and then a quick wave dash to pick up a lot of speed, 
and secure the goal. Our next player is from Sezon, grabs himself a flip reset and scoops it over the defender. Our next goal is from Bramski, up into the air with the first touch but doesn't go for the second and instead does a dunk on his opponent. Next play is from Lego Gune, who pulls off a really nice wave dash, catching the defender off guard. For our final play of the week, I thought we'd include a bad one that's funny, so we've got this diamond rumble game by Tedrick. The orange team is just flopping around the defense, until the one in the endo decides to give up and punches it into his own goal. And then we're gonna move on to our fashion for the week. For the first one we've got a Tron based design coming out from person.exe. The next design comes out from Owen and it's based around the fade in CSGO. Next up is Infernex showing off this nice combination of the Guardian battle car and the carbon wheels. We then have a Fast and Furious design from Omniseon. We then have our Discord designs, starting off with Lucky Luke. For this one, he's got a really nice combination of the reverb wheels and the new Rocket Pass decal, the Dune Sweeper. We then have a very creative design by Aenor. You've got that uncommon turtle topper matching up very nicely with these painted Christianos. We then have this Lakers design by Ronan, who's using the orange orbit wheels because they look like basketballs. We've got this nice black and red design by Shiro, and for this one I love the carbon paint finish, matching up with the tread on the stellar wheels. Our final design for this week is from Imperium, with a pixel based design. But that is going to be a wrap for this week in Rocket League. Let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comments below. Are you happy or disappointed with Rocket Pass 6? Also if you're enjoying these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.